guys welcome back to our channel our channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 21,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed i hope you guys are doing all right may you stay blessed please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link down below of whatsoever you want me to react to you know just like i said the name and the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out and if i haven't reacted to something that you suggested please suggest it again um i was very very busy with school so today i'm going to be reacting to before that you can find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse head there say hi we'll say hi back our vlogging channel funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so today i'm going to be reacting to a christian priest says christianity can never be as good as islam now this is something that seems interesting from the title so without wasting time let's see what the priest has to say is it a priest yeah i keep hearing people say hey christians need to be in power christian need to do this sir is it with this kind of christianity with this kind of Christianity, is when we'll be in power. A Christianity that is lame, a Christianity that is weak. You think, sir, when we were on the other side, let me tell you first of all, the physical side before we do the, spir the spiritual side. When we were on the other side, there is, there is, there is a statement it's simple. You go anywhere, they tell you Al Muslim, Akul Muslim. Anywhere you go to, they will tell you a Muslim is the brother of a Muslim. I have shared with you here a terrible thing. I hate sharing it. I was sent by the Archbishop somewhere and I got stranded on the way. I went to a church to go and tell them that they should, I, I want to spend the night there. I heard the pastor and the wife arguing inside. I told them, I said, look, I will not sleep in your house. I want to sleep in the church. Sir, they didn't allow me. I left that place and walked to a mosque. I, the only thing I said is, Assalamu alaikum. And he looked at me, he said, Mahala. He said, life here. I said, Nima tafini. He said, Bismillah, Bismillah, Bismillah. He said, I should, I should sit. Bismillah. So he told me he was, he was eating his garo garo. He said, Malam, Bismillah, kato kacho keli, mucha abunchi. Sir, we finish. He said, Malam, he said, masala chen namuke kwana. He said, nke yi seko, seko kwanta. Sir, I slept in the mosque. In the morning, before the early morning prayers, before he knows that it is not, I only say salamu alaikum. I quickly step out. Sir, is it with that kind of Christianity? We will, is that, are, you, are you thinking we can, we can dismantle that force? Our self-centered, self-seeking, self-glorifying Christianity. A Christianity that only thinks about himself. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Here I've seen how a um, Christian priest from Nigeria, he said how he loves the Muslim brotherhood and how he loves the Muslim hospitality. And wherever you go, Islam doesn't have any sort of racism, any sort of like division for nationality and all these things. Kullu Muslimun ikhwa. All the Muslims are brothers. So if you come from Nigeria or USA or Canada or Australia or India, Pakistan, Bangladesh or like Central Asian countries, wherever you are, if you are a Muslim, if you share the kalima la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, then you are brothers. In the masjid, all the Muslims, no matter how rich or how poor he is, all are same. Everyone has the same right in the masjid Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judges you with your taqwa with your good deeds 
the more god consciousness you have the more good deeds you do the better you are other than that all of us are same so you can see in the western countries islam is the fastest growing religion we have only one divine book that is al quran which is preserved for last 1400 years not a single verse is changed it's all the same you take a quran from usa and you take a quran from saudi arabia it's all same and that is one of the biggest miracles of islam may allah give us the true understanding of the quran may allah give us the true guidance and may allah keep us steadfast on this deen very interesting video i mean it's very very sad that um even just sleeping in the church was an issue especially for someone who said he's a priest a pastor or whatever it is and um imagine going back and forth and you hear people going back and forth as to where where they should sleep in the house whether they should it's 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 quite embarrassing very very embarrassing they could have chosen a better way to speak about things so that the person doesn't hear them but that happened and he left that church to go somewhere else but then how did the people feel the next day knowing that he slept at a mosque and not a church you know you have to be your brother's keeper in life provided they're not doing anything and i, I don't know I'm trying to think I'm trying to convince myself that maybe security reasons but this is a pastor pastors should trust other pastors you know even if it was someone seeking somewhere to go they should always be that place that the church has set in place to help people that are stranded to spend a night uh, maybe just to give food you know have proper structures so that you can take care of your own people don't just be pastors making your souls rich and then forgetting the rest of the people around you or forgetting the problems of those people around you or people that follow the same religion as you and what not it's very very shameful you know and i'm sure by now the person must have seen this clip because what is that what exactly is that and you really can't make up such stories it's very very shameful and um to be welcomed by someone who is of a different religion that speaks um volumes learn people learn from these people you have to learn from someone else if you don't have certain qualities or manners or or something learn from someone else you know it won't take away anything from you it really doesn't take away anything from you and i'm glad the person found a place to stay that's safe and that telling people the truth christians are so centered i think that's what he said if i'm quoting him right very very self centered you're thinking about yourself you don't want to think about your neighbor today you can be rich but your neighbor you don't even want to look there because you don't want to share your riches whatever type of riches you may have you know it doesn't always have to be in monetary form always be a brother's keeper and yeah just look out for people out there so yeah let me know what you guys actually think about this video what are your thoughts um do you agree with the priest that christians can't lead because of their selfish nature and yeah so just feel free to comment down below if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below as well just give me the name or the link and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video